Hey ladies and gents, it's P99 here from ModYourEye.com and today I have something special for you. I know a lot of you out there want to have your themes and applications on Cydia, but many don't know that your package needs to be in a dev file. And unfortunately, learning how to create a dev file is very hard. I search for days on end trying to find dev files. But luckily, today, the owner of ModYourEye.com, Corleone, came to me with a wonderful program. It's by Francis Owis. It's called DebMaker OS X. Here it is. DebMaker version 1.0. Now, DebMaker is a native Mac OS Debian package generator. And what it does is it helps you put together a dev file, which is complicated most of the time. But what this does is makes it extremely easy. And I'm going to show you today how I put a file onto our repo. We'll just do um, an AT&T carrier logo. I won't get into anything too deep. So we'll just go with a carrier logo because it that's very easy to do. All right, so I'll start out here with files. The file would be which whatever you're going to name your file. It's the version one. You always want to put version one if it's your first application or first version of the theme that you choose. So the name would be AT&T custom logo. Now the package would be the same as the top one that says files. Okay, next, we're going to go to version, version 1.0. And this file is 41 kilobytes depends I just leave depends blank if you want you could go in and specify that but for me I'm just going to leave that blank section do you have a game do you have a utility do you have a network do you have themes do you have something for the system so this would be a theme so we'll put that in the themes category website okay next my icon there we go maintainer that would be me p99 conflicts no i'm just going to leave that blank description for us at&t iphones please request your network on our forum I don't mind making carrier logos for other networks. So you could request that on our forum. That's just a little pointer. Now what I'm going to do is just hit build. Now after you hit build, it's going to rearrange your file and turn it into a dev file. Now it doesn't make a new file, it just modifies the file that you had before. So that same file, if you go into it, you'll notice it'll be different. Okay, now that you've used DebMaker to create your dev file, when you go back to the original file, you open it up, it's different. There's one folder called Debian, and there's another folder called Library. If you open up the Debian folder, you'll notice it says control. If you open control, it's all the information that you just put into DebMaker and it compiled that all into your control sheet, which tells Cydia and your phone what exactly to do when it's being downloaded. Now, when we back things up, we could go into the library for a file open up library and then we have themes themes custom AT&T version 1 so that's what DebMaker does it creates your dev files for you 
So now that my dev file is created, I'm going to contact Prankster over at Majurai.com. And he's going to take my dev file and put it onto Cydia. Just like that. Okay, so now I got word back from Prankster. And he said that the theme is now on Cydia. So we're going to check this out. Packages, sources. If you don't have our source, you can add it. The address is right there repo.moduri.com and there we go it's right up top AT&T custom logo right there on Cydia and there we go folks just like that that's how you could put your apps or your themes on Cydia as always have a great day and enjoy your holidays this is P99 for ModYourEye.com. You have a wonderful evening.